Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how I made this trick where I'm playing with time. So without further ado, let's see how this was shot. I put a camera on a tripod and recorded a long video of the location where I want to speed up the time. You could also do a time lapse instead, but the beginning and end should be moving in real time. Now the shot with the clock can be recorded in the same place, but you could also do it in a completely different location. In this example the background is different and no green screen was used. However, pay attention to the lighting so that it matches with the location where you want to place your subject. Before we start editing, I would like to quickly mention Envato Elements. Envato Elements is a tool every filmmaker will appreciate. You can find there thousands of creative assets and templates for any kind of project you're working on. They offer great stock footage, including green screen clips like fog, fire, lightning, and literally anything you'll need. Apart from that, this library also includes awesome After Effects and Premiere Pro templates, VFX assets, intros, transitions, motion graphics, as well as sound effects and music. It allows you to download unlimited amount of all these assets just for a single price and you can cancel it anytime. Envato Elements is a huge time saver and helps you create videos faster. Make sure to check it out, there is a link in the description down below. Now let's dive into After Effects. Start off by placing your shots on the timeline. Background on the bottom and a shot with a person on top of that. First we need to isolate the body from the background. For this you can use manual rotoscoping with several masks or if you are in a hurry, the Roto Brush tool. Select the video and take the Roto Brush tool. Then draw a selection of the body and adjust it when needed. For the hair we can use the Refine Edge tool. Next freeze the selection. Now adjust the settings, enable motion blur and you should have a pretty solid roto. Now let's create a speed up animation in the background. Instead of a regular time stretch, I want to use keyframes for the speed to make the time gradually speed up. There are basically two options. You can use the time warp effect where you can keyframe the speed or if you're working with a longer video you can also use time remapping. Right click the layer, go to time and choose enable time remapping. Now set a keyframe at a point where the time should speed up, then go to the end of the time lapse and set another keyframe. Next grab the keyframes at the end and move them to the point where the speed up animation should end. To make the time speed up gradually, open the graph editor and adjust the keyframes to make the animation smoother. To match the body better with the background, I use the curves effect and I also animated it when the lighting changes. A nice touch is also to add a bit of a light wrap around the subject. There is actually a really handy plugin for that from Production Crate and it's completely free. Link is in the description. All you need to do is select the roto layer and apply the light wrap effect to it. Choose the background layer and play around with the settings. You want to make it really subtle so don't go overboard with it. Now we can pre-compose the layers together and add fake camera movement. I made a whole video about fake camera movement so you can check it out in the description. Finally top it all off with some color grading and we are done. If you found this helpful please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.